how are you all doing so today guys i'm going to remove this big aloe here i will let matthew just cut this one because it's very heavy to lift it. and i will put a big pot in here so that's what we're going to do today and that's what i'm going to share to you today So when I plant this one in the front garden, guys, I'm still going to put it in a pot because if I directly plant it in the ground, then it will grow big and it will be hard for me to remove it in case I don't want it anymore. Okay, so let's move this. So the next thing that I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to move a big pot. Now the big pot is somewhere in my little greenhouse and the problem is that the problem is that big pot is very very heavy so i'll show you so that's the part i'm talking about guys so it's very, very heavy so be careful hun um this part got lots of different succulent but it's not really getting a lot of sunlight that's why it's looking so uh leggy and no color so we're going to see if that will going to fit in that yeah, corner nice. there oops so oh. uh, it's really handy to have a trolley husband. like this gas it's really <laughs> handy to have a husband <laughs> yeah i know it's really very handy to have a husband and a trolley <laughs> like this to move a very heavy pot well lucky me it fits guys so i can put so? a lot more no all right so guys i decided to just take them all off clean the bucket out remove everything and then i'm going to put some more uh, succulent plants here that is from my collection over there so that's the plan and now we're just going to clean it out and remove everything. So we managed to take the elephant ears guys uh, properly and then we can put this one somewhere else. So this one here guys, this is Mendoza. It doesn't get a lot of sunlight, that's why it looks like this. But probably we can still save it and we will put it in a sunny position. But for now, it's autumn here in Australia, we don't get sunlight. So, see how it will go with this one. So we realized guys that there's no much soil happening in this uh, big pot. So there are some plastic pots underneath. There. So I have some plastic bottle here guys that I'm going to put in the pot yes, and uh, this one got a lid so that it will not go into be a house for any insect so I'll just put it there yes. okay. there you go So and then I will go into uh, put some perlite. So I just estimate the perlite. So we just put a lot of perlite in here. So guys, my pot is ready. I have a ripsalus here that's trying to see if it goes in there. And then I gather some few plants in my garden, in my collection. So guys, I don't really have any idea what this project will come out. So just join me and see what will be the come out of this pot arrangement. So I'm going to start with my spiller guys. So I have the ripsalus here. I might just put in this corner so in this corner of the pot guys it's very 
uh, visible in my kitchen or I can see it from my kitchen so I'll better put the ear of salads in this side yeah now this pillar which is this sedum burritos in time the sedum burritos guys we're going to spill on the side of this pot then I have another spiller here which is another ripsalus and I also have this another sedum burrito so I'll just put it beside the ripsalus we're really very careful in working with these sedum burritos because they are very touchy just put a echeveria here now this one I don't have the identification so just to fill up this side so I have another spiller here guys this um, string of pearls so let's see how this will work over here And one of my favorite guys, this Ionium Sunburst. Now this Ionium Sunburst, it seems like it's already trailing. So maybe it will be nice if I put it here. To cover up this leggy stem guys, I decided to put this PVN. So I'm just going to put underneath like this. So that's what it looks like for now guys so not bad at all so let's continue so next one i'm going to use as a spiller is this string of tears so i'm going to put it here sorry about this container guys i can't move it because there is a rain water in there so bear with me i'll spread it out a bit Oh. I'm going to put this Echeveria Minima on top of here just to cover up that a little bit, the bare spot. And this one here is an Echeveria as well, but I don't have the exact ID. So I'm going to put this somewhere in this area here in this corner here and then we'll just rest it there and not too bad so another echeveria guys now i'm just going to put that one here No, this one is really pretty guys look at the color gorgeous so this is just the ordinary plot jack it's not variegated one i'm just going to dig a bit so i'm going to bury that with that So this one guys is a purple delight now this got used to the full sun but i'm putting it here in the shaded area so i don't know how this will go into response in this corner here yeah. and let's put this mexican giant guys now this one, I propagated this one from cuttings, stem cuttings. And I decided guys to put this uh, bite planter here, something to break up too much plant. <laughs> just, just something a little bit decorative. So 
So I think I'll just going to move this one here so I can see this bike planter well. So at last guys, I finished this arrangement and here's the final result. So I put a lot of spiller in this arrangement. So I have the different types of ripsalas. So I have this chain looking ripsalas. It's really long. And I have this ripsalas that I don't know the exact ID, but it's beautiful in that part. And then on the side here, Now on the side here, we have another ripsalus. This ripsalus, guys, when it's stressed, it turns into a deep purplish burgundy color. And then we have a string of pearls and a string of tears. So they're really looking good in this part. And then, and then the succulent I use in this arrangement or we have this Crassula ovata. I think this is Gollum ears, but it has a bigger leaf. And then we have some kind of aloe. And then over here, this variegated one. This is the ID for that. And I also have the Agavoids Miranda here. Now this one is in the green side because it's been sitting in the shaded area and then we have the hercules i'm not 100 percent if this is really hercules but it looks like hercules then we have the pvn then we have the crassula campfire and then the panda plant i think this one is a donkey's ears not 100 percent again then we have the common flapjack and over this side guys we have the echeveria minima i think this is the white form and then i have another echeveria agavois miranda now this one has a nice color already and i forgot we have the sedum burritos as a spiller as well and then i also put a Echeveria Mexican Giant. Now this one is from my propagation. And then I added up with the Purple Delight. And in the middle of this arrangement, I added a bite planter. And I have a few mix of succulent in this planter. I have some variegated crassula. I have this golden serum rice and this one is a blue elf and this one is clavarum and the rest there guys i don't have the identification so they are all cuttings when i planted it here so here they are and i also have these two beautiful uh, garden accessories as well so here they are guys so that's the outcome of my arrangement in this big black pot so that's it for now guys i hope you love this arrangement that i shared to you this weekend and if you're new to my channel and you're not subscribed yet please consider to subscribe it will mean a lot to me if you do so and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so every time you have a new video like this you will be notified and you will not miss a thing and if you like the video guys please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to leave me a comment in my comment section and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so guys i will see you next time bye Thank you.